Yo, 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 what's good, what's good, what's up? So, I wasn't gonna actually talk about this shit because it didn't really make any sense. It wasn't a big deal. But since Drake did drop his little EP and it got a lot of people up in arms, I guess I could give my opinion on it. You know what I mean? A week has passed already since it dropped and it's only three records. So, you know, I've been fucking with it. I will say off top, I I noticed that a lot of reactors that are sometimes I watch reaction channels and shit, it was slow for a lot of people that the channels that I really wanted to fucking watch their reviews or reactions, they didn't really upload the first couple of days. I ended up seeing them, but that just goes to show me that what the fuck was y'all doing? It wasn't even a lot of music there that dropped that, you know, motherfuckers were reacting to. But it's cool, it's whatever. So the Drake thing you know, uh, of course, we all know academics. He, like, spilled the beans. That nigga be getting all the exclusives. And fast forward, it just dropped, you know. And seen a track list. I, the only thing that I'm mad at myself for, and I don't fucking like this, is leaks. I fucking, uh, you know, y'all know how I feel about leaks if you follow the channel. But I wish to God I didn't hear that leak song, What's Next? Because I would have totally fucking love that record i love i like it don't get me wrong it's dope you know what i'm saying but i would have totally loved it even more you know what i mean and i keep hearing the same shit i don't hear the playboy cardi type you know shit that everybody keeps saying when they hear the beat you know when i first listened to it i was just like okay i couldn't really tell what the leak is you know how distorted that shit sounds so i'm listening to it it's like i i guess i hear what people are saying as far as the playboy cardi you know uh type beat or whatever the case may be. I mean, it is one of those mumble rap beats, but I just don't really see what they saying, I guess. You know what I mean? Because that definitely wouldn't have fit on no whole lot of red. Maybe Dilit. I could see Dilit. But, you know, it's whatever. And he dropped the video with it too. You know, that's very dope the way he did the video. He actually, is the, the views album cover where he's sitting on the motherfucker, he actually shot the video up there. That's cool and shit like that airplane and little bins and shit he'd be having some fly ass cars that coat dope but they didn't want y'all here to talk about or here to listen to so the one thing that i was noticing about the first record what's next is his flow is cool but some of the it sounds like the mixing on the entire project is off a little bit because if you put your headphones in uh and listen to the third track you kind of hear echoing in the background you know what I mean? So I thought that was pretty weird. But I definitely like the What's Next uh, <laughs> song. He got a couple of captions in there that I, I I don't really see people really doing the captions no more. But he definitely got a few. I definitely fuck with that. Now, the thing that, that was what I was listening to when he, he did the uh, the Kanye line. You know what I mean? And so I listened. I looked at that like it makes no sense at first when you hear it. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, all right. You dig? That's whatever. I definitely feel like he's talking to Kanye about the Kim situation. But 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 this is the thing that was getting me on a record with Little Baby. Like what's next? Now I will admit, Little Baby did flow on that motherfucker, and it seems like Drake already had that song done, but he needed some more flair for it. You know what I mean? Because my ears heard something different. Now when I'm listening to the record, if you listen to Little Baby's verse. And you take out certain words and rearrange them. I feel like Drake did the entire song by himself, but he had little baby do his verse, but kept some of the shit that he was saying and put other words in. Like we don't believe Drake got a a gun and shooting people and shit. But if you really listen to what little baby is saying, I feel like Drake did that whole song and baby filled in the blanks because it's still talking about Kanye. If you really take what I'm saying, it sounds crazy, but just listen to the moment where Drake talks about that Yeezus thing, he wouldn't believe me, and then go into that song and listen to Lil Baby verse. Take out anything that's, like, violent, whether it's talking about guns, whether it's talking about anything violent that we know Drake won't do. You know, that's basically Lil Baby adding, rewording a couple lines. But everything else, listen to that. To talk about I could be, you know, uh, sitting somewhere with my kids and sit out a hit, you feel me? Uh, we only YOLO stood a motto because I'm like why would little baby say that like he wasn't even fucking around we didn't even know little baby when Drake did that record you know what I mean so I'm like I definitely feel like that verse is talking about yay you know what I'm saying 
In my opinion, I do. Because it's the same thing when you listen to that one song that Drake did where Joe broke it down. It's like, if you take it and interpret it another way, he's talking to Kanye. I definitely feel like he's still talking to Kanye because that one little bar he did about Ye didn't make sense. But if you listen to that little baby verses, take out certain elements of it, reword it, you know what I mean? Even the part was like, I'm chilling with my children. We know Drake got one kid, you know, Drake could have said, I'm chilling with my kiddo, but I could still send a hit, you know, and little Baby came in and pit, you know, I'm hanging with my children, I could still send a hit. It's just me being me, because I ain't the biggest little Baby fan, and I've heard a couple of his songs, but that flow and the way he was just, it's mainly the flow. It's not what he's saying that's crazy. It's, it's, it's definitely, you know, the flow. And then the nigga said that he gave her four Birkins to start off with. Now, if you remember when Birkins was first talked about, the only person that I knew talked about him was Drake. And we knew that this nigga had, what, over 20 to 30 of them purses or some shit, a room full of them waiting on whoever he going to be able to give them to him. Now, if I understand about Birkins, you have to be on the list and you kind of got to have some paper. I'm not saying baby don't got no paper like that, but I do feel like that all of a sudden everybody's talking about Birkins when we all know that that bag itself, you have to go on the waiting list and you kind of got to be somebody to, you know what I'm saying, uh, basically get one. And even Offset was saying that a lot of these motherfuckers walk around with Birkins. A lot of these motherfuckers is fake. So I was just looking at that like, huh. I'm not saying Lil Baby can't afford certain things, but it just that verse just, it don't fit. Because Drake and Lil Baby is in two totally different tax brackets. That's just me. Whatever. You know, so that's the song. You know, it's cool. It's whatever. But a lot of people saying Baby uh, ate Drake on that shit. And it's just like, it's more to flow than what he's saying. You know what I mean? We ain't never heard Lil Baby flow like that. Now it goes into the Lemon Pepper Freestyle, which I'm not taking my shit back. Ross wasn't needed on a fucking song. And I kind of said that, you know, when I talked about the EP at first on Twitter and somebody was like, what about Ross? He was all right. I mean, he wasn't needed, period. Like, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. It just wasn't needed. You know what I mean? Especially seeing Drake verse and then he gave him a shout out twice in the motherfucker with the Ross sitting on 235 acres. We want everything galore, not just lyric galore. You know, he, he gave homage and shit. I definitely love the Wayne uh, bar in there as well. But I, Ross just wasn't needed on that shit. And that was one of the joints to where a lot of people was getting so upset because it was six minutes and something. It's like, God damn, has we come to a society where we only like songs that's like two and a half minutes? You can't sit there and listen to a Drake song. If Kendrick came out with some shit like that, niggas be praising it. If J. Cole did that, niggas be praising it. But when it comes to Drake, and it's just like, I don't understand that. But Drake definitely, I feel like he had a point where he don't have shit else to prove, in my opinion. Like what, I feel like this should be his last album. Fuck, even, uh, I, what song was I listening to just the other day where I was just like, yo, oh, if he ever does a finale concert where he go retire, the last song on his set list of the every tour day he do it gotta be thank me now you should thank me now i know what i said thank me later is what i said but no thank me now because you listen to that song and look at his career now he has to use that at his set ending it every show because that's the pinnacle of his shit you know what i mean and he don't really have nothing else to prove where more could he go you know if you really listen to that uh song and it's weird because people when drake rapped People loved it. And we know how Drake, when you look at records like Fear, that's one of the ones that's that's hard as fuck. You know, old school when Drake opening up with those type of records. And you just look at his career. What more can you talk about? He did the, like, the the melodic type shit. And he did the pop shit. People wouldn't fuck with that. Like, oh, we want the old Drake back. But it's just more or less now you listen to the song. Like, what more could he talk about? Y'all be wanting to know about shit. Like, how would they say, oh, he don't talk about his personal life. You know what I mean? Which is like, well, what the fuck has Drake been rapping about? And he... When he talk about women and females and shit and the industry plotting against them, he's always done that. He always gave us all and, and gave you everything. But it's just like, y'all want to be that fucking nosy. Like, I didn't give a fuck that he fucked on Valentine's Day. I mean, it's Drake. Who wouldn't? You know what I mean? So I looked at that part where he said that in the song. I was just like, all right. But when you listen to the actual song, and can we stop saying the shit that Pusha T made him a better dad? Like, that shit is just so lame and fucking bogus to even say that shit. Nigga had a kid and didn't want to you know, tell the world about it. I always said to myself, if I had a kid, shit, I wouldn't post that shit on social media. I wouldn't tell nobody I had a kid. It's not any fucking business. You know what I mean? It's been numerous people in the industry, rap or otherwise, that had kids that didn't publicize that shit. Why are we so infatuated with, you know, artists having kids and we want to see them and everything? All y'all motherfuckers do is ridicule them and shit. So I, I still hate that shit to where it's just like, damn, that's a joke. Oh, put your teeth, made him a, a better dad. And it's like, nigga, he always was a good dad. You know what I mean? But 
it is what it is. But that Lemon Pepper song, it just, it let me know, like, yo, he ain't really got shit else to prove. You know what I mean? Where more could he go? You know, as you said, ain't that mean parallels left? I mean, it really ain't. Like, what more could Drake do? No matter what he dropped, he gonna sell. You know what I mean? If y'all say that he took an L with the push of T-shirt, I guess. But I don't see it. You know what I mean? And it just goes to show you, he did a three-song EP and did a hundred some thousand. Some people will be like, oh, that's an L. It's only three songs. Relax. And he still did more numbers than anybody else that dropped some shit. Didn't he just break another fucking record this year for 2021? You know what I mean? So as more people saying that his music, he's fallen, fallen off or he's not relevant, which sounds fucking crazy. How? The numbers show itself. That's why I like that line when he said, I put the skirt on whip and the crown on the six, but no need to dress up the numbers. It's like, God damn. Like, and you know who he's talking about. You know what I mean? We know exactly who he's talking about. Even the line where he said in the one song where he was just like, I may charge my ex for a feature. I thought that was the most craziest shit. It's like, I could see that. I, yeah, I could see it. You know what I mean? Imagine that Rihanna hitting him up for a collab and this nigga sending her an invoice for, you know, a quarter of a million. Because <laughs> you know it's Drake, it's going to do numbers. But I fuck with the little Scary Hours EP. The first one had God's Plan, Diplomatic Community. Um, we know that God's Plan was a big, huge success. I think what it went diamond. But do I think that any one of these songs will take off? I mean, what's next? Definitely a take off. I think he got the number one and number two spot on Billboard. So that should let you know something. But a lot of people seem to not like the Lemon Pepper song, which is crazy. You know, I don't really understand that. But I do feel like I want to hear certain artists on this record, like freestyle over this shit. Like, I want to see Lupe on this beat. I want to see Joe Budden on this beat. Uh, I want to see uh, Royce on this beat. Uh, Kendrick, I think, could do this beat justice. J. Cole. It's like, where, why are we getting to a society and music where niggas don't want to jack a beat? Like, jack this motherfucker. This shit is hard. Like, especially the, the, the way Ross in his verse and before Drake, you know, enters the verse, that little section right there, loop that shit, kill that shit. Like, I just want to see other people on this beat because it's fucking crazy. You know what I mean? But Scary RCP, it's dope. I don't know what to expect on his upcoming album. You know, I, I'm kind of over that shit now. It didn't drop in January. It didn't drop in February. So I don't really give a fuck. I don't want to hear it in the summer. So I'll listen to it when it drops, but I'm just over it. But yeah, man, Drake is Drake at the end of the day. I've been listening to this shit on repeat. I keep going back between what's next and um, the pineapple joint. I mean, you know, not pineapple joint, but uh, lemon pepper joint. I keep calling it pineapple. My bad. But yeah, I fuck with it. So y'all let me know what y'all think about it. And yeah, man, will Drake ever fall off? That is the big question. I highly doubt it. I think he'll walk away clean. But the minute he retire, I definitely feel like the nigga got to just call it quits don't do no features don't do what hove did say i retire and do features until I come back and do albums once you're done you're done you know what i mean i could see drake doing some politics in canada some shit like that mayor or some shit of toronto i could see that but other than that man that's just what i thought call me crazy i guess y'all be good man one